Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're in St. Fintan's Cemetery here in Sutton in County Dublin and we are here to find the final resting place of Phil Linnet, musician, artist, songwriter. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about his story as we walk around and then I'll bring you to his final resting place. So Phil Linnet was an Irish singer, musician and songwriter. His most commercially successful group was Tin Lizzy, of which he was the founding member, the principal songwriter, lead vocalist and bassist. He was known for his distinctive plectrum bass style on the bass and for his imaginative lyrical contributions, including working class tales and numerous characters drawn from personal influences and Celtic culture. Phil was born in the West Midlands of England, but grew up here in Dublin with his grandparents. He remained close to his mother Philomena throughout his life. He fronted several bands as a lead vocalist including Skid Row alongside Gary Moore before learning the bass guitar and forming Tin Lizzy in 1969. After initial success with Whiskey in the Jar, the band had several hits in the mid-1970s such as The Boys Are Back in Town, Jailbreak, and Waiting for an Alibi, probably one of my favourites. Um, he became a popular live attraction combining Phil's uh, vocal and songwriting skills with dual lead guitars. Towards the end of the 1970s, Phil embarked upon a solo career, published two books of poetry, and after Tin Lizzy disbanded, he assembled and fronted the band Grand Slam. On February 1980, he married Caroline Crowther, a daughter of British comedian Leslie Crowther. They had two children, Sarah, who was born in 1978, and Kathleen, who was born in 1980. The marriage fell apart during 1984 after his drug use escalated. He also had a son born in 1968, who had been put up for adoption. In 2003, MacDara Lamb learned that Phil was his biological father. Now, Phil's last years were heavily affected by drug and alcohol dependency, leading to his collapse on the 25th of December in 1985 at his home. He was discovered by his mother, who was not aware of his dependence on heroin. She contacted his wife, Caroline, who knew about and immediately identified the problem as serious. After Caroline drove him to a drug clinic at Cloud's house, he was taken to Salisbury Infirmary, where he was diagnosed as suffering from septicemia. Although Phil regained consciousness enough to speak to his mother, his condition worsened. By the start of the new year, he was put on a ventilator and he died of pneumonia and heart failure due to septicemia on the 4th of January, 1986, at the age of just 36. Now Phil remains a popular figure in the rock world and in 2005 a statue in his memory was erected in Dublin. Right so guys I'm going to bring you now to Phil's final resting place and he is actually here with his dear mother Philomena and he absolutely adored Philomena and Philomena adored Philip and she used to come here every day to visit him. And there we have him, Philip Paris Linnet. 1949 to 1986 and Philomena Linnet, 1930 to 2019. And it is 
a beautiful resting place for them both. See here, an absolutely gorgeous photo of Phil himself, just there. We've lovely flowers left, we have a black rose, and just here, we've several guitar plectrums. Another black rose there, and beside it, we have a photo frame filled with photos of Phil and his, his mother Philomena there. So Phil in it and your mum Philomena, rest in peace and thank you for all your music, Philip and your poetry. And people still come here to visit him. We have here Philo wrote in like a glitter, glitter letters there. Probably won't be able to see all that, but it says Philo. And here, somebody has left a poem, The Rocker. I won't read it all, but you can pause it if you like to read it. It's done by Eugene, not sure of his surname there. But it's, I saw a statue with a lovely bronze face with plectrums between the strings of the bass. He played with a band who were called Tin Nizzy, and he always got his fans a whole lot dizzy. And uh, you can read that poem there yourselves. So I've just noticed the Norwegian flag there and wrote on the side of the flag, it says, thank you for the music, sir. Beautiful. Right, so guys, that is filled in its final resting place and his mum Philomena and I mean so many hits the boys are back in town waiting for an alibi probably one of my favorites and uh, his legacy definitely lives on if you're a Phil Linnet fan comment down below what was your favorite song and um, let me know um, if you like this video please subscribe hit the like button and hit the notification bell and that will let you know when I upload or when I go live but for now, guys, take care, God bless, and I'll talk to you all soon.